Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and let's play Wild Gunman. Yeehaw! One of the more slightly lesser known zapper game for the Wii. Not the Wii, the Nintendo. What? Foul? How could it be a foul? This isn't baseball. We're in the West. Only the Yanks, the actual Yankees, play baseball. <sighs> but here in this game, we gotta shoot a whole bunch of desperados. Ooh, with a quick draw. And as you can see, my quick draw is pretty bad. And slow. So we gotta wait. Hear the music go. And fire. And of course, this game is actually a lot more difficult because I am playing it honestly. The point of the game is not just to aim at the target and shoot, you gotta do the quick draw. So, gun is at the side, <laughs> wait for it, and then shoot. Let's see if you can anti up up the ante by doing it left handed. Alrighty. Because you want to have a good trigger finger on both hands. Otherwise, how are you going to do all that wonderful stuff gun akimbo? And man in the brown hat, you have gotten me again. But not on next time. Not on next time. Yeah. Back in the simple days when you had uh, basic honesty in the game. Or enforced honesty. At least the implication. You have to do a little pantomime here. Uh, but not these days. Where you have the actual pointer to the gun. Real people to compete against. And, uh... Complaints that there's not enough modes to enforce gameplay. Such as coming with your own bodyguard to, uh... Let's say, duct tape your arm to the ground. Alright, right-handed, behind my back. Ooh, I'm that good. Not really. I said behind my back, but I didn't say I wasn't looking. <laughs> That's the trick. You gotta be honest and not a lying pole cat. How odd that they actually. No, it's not odd. But it's kind of funny and amusing that they value honesty more than thievery. Or let's say also harlotry. Mm. Did they have a cure for syphilis then? I don't think so. Not yet. I know you need a whole bunch of mercury for that. Ah, but Venus is certainly worth the Mercury. Or so I'm told. Ah! I didn't draw. And I didn't get a foul either. Behind my back. Blindfold it. Ah. I knew I shouldn't have closed my eyes. Need the reflex of a Tetris master. No blinking. Ah. Oh well. Dun, dun. But, um, and for a game about speed, it certainly takes its time moving on from one scene to the next. At least good setup. Alright, in the Wild West, how are we gonna do? This is definitely unfair. Two bad guys against one. I don't even know how to aim here, especially with a quick draw. Although, supposedly from the Quick and the Dead. Is it the Quick and the Dead? Or the Good, the Ugly? The Quick and the Ugly. Proper way to fire. And a quick draw. Is one. You point. That is, you don't use the sight. You just point the gun. I guess you'd be close enough that you just go bang. And not miss. And then you pull the trigger. No. You pull? You squeeze the trigger. You don't pull it. Because of the catch mechanism. <laughs> Which is why I believe in previous things that the Nyko Perfect Shot is not the best gun if you want to have a uh, simulated rail or a simulated uh, zapper effect. There's Nyko makes another type of gun adapter that's superior. Quick, quick, bang, bang. How many bullets do I have? I think I have infinite bullets. Let's see. Got a lot of cash. Got my uh, reflexes there. And for some strange reason, that gentleman in the brown hat, who actually seems to be the fastest draw in this game, never fires in 
the wave number five. That's pretty odd that they call the rounds waves. I wonder if that's some type of Japanese mistranslation, because I don't even believe there's a, uh, let's say, idiom for, like, iterations to say wave. Maybe a wave of enemies. Like, wave after wave of, uh, intense fire and soldiers and zergers just came over at me. But it's still odd to call the round, or at least the iteration of a game, a wave. Uh, howdy, y'all. Oh. And I'm actually doing pretty good until I open my big yap. Well, I guess it's true that they say talk is cheap, especially around here. Can't even fake a twang or a drawl properly. And they need to pay attention. Guess I wasn't quick enough. Although quick is actually a pun, it doesn't actually refer to reflexes, but to uh, the antonym of death. Quick refers to life or living, such as in quickening when a female is pregnant, or quicksilver, which means living silver because mercury moves and flows. And what else? Quickening? I guess also the Highlander for the dequickening. It's the enlivening of the immortal. But here we are now in game C, which is probably the most fun for people, the saloon shootout. And uh, we gotta go guns a blazing, cause I have a giant hankering for a sarsaparilla. A la mode. Instead of milk, cause who knows what the cows are like here. There could be plague or anthrax. Yes, I said anthrax. Watch any old good episodes of Bonanza and have gun will travel and they had plenty of anthrax in uh, Utah and Vegas and no worries about envelopes or anything like that uh, not quite my best in this game but it probably reflects my cultural period and such let's do a uh, take two or be wave two if I was in the Wild West for all five years it existed, I probably would have been a uh, city slicker from Boston or uh, one of those upstate New York, uh, New England types. With my fancy high school diploma and the ability to read and count beyond the number 10 without my fingers, I'd probably come for some company to... Uh, Let's say ra lay down railroad tracks or maybe the wiretap, not wiretap, uh, the line, Morse code, the wire, the wire graph, telegraph, there you go, which is uh, what killed basically the Wild West and the Pony Express, because you have quick travel with a railroad and near instant communication with the wiretap, so uh, no need to rush your uh, letters quickly. What other innovations of the West? Ah, the stagecoach and time zones. The fact that there are time zones and the United States was divided into four periods, or four sections, was the invention of the stagecoach. So that you knew what time it was when you left and how to get. That's a wonderful invention that people take for granted. And I probably would have been on a stagecoach as well, because uh, why would I bother trying to ride a horse? There's no railroads because I'm laying them down for it. Or at least doing the paper pushing for it. And I'd be the young greenhorn and I'd probably help out the hero rather than learn to uh, be a little less of a tenderfoot. So I'd probably deliver the packages and the dynamite and then I'd probably be killed by the, the bad cowboy in the black hat. Uh, but I've served my purpose and will be avenged. And then I'll get my western credit. Or should I say reputation? They didn't have cred then, reputations. And it seems I have none. <sighs> so until, or I should say, not until next time, happy trails, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya.